Hmm, is he throwing us some hints? So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Pokeos and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you follow me on all these social media platforms that you see posted here. I'm also on Twitter as The Real Ty Smith. I have another YouTube channel called Man, Husband, Father, and an incognito channel called Meme Stream Me. Oh my God, y'all. It's late. It's called Meme Stream Media Shorts. All right, anyway. So there's been this buzz that y'all know that's been going around probably for the past three months or so of who you guys and even myself think is going to be Donald Trump's Vice President, now I got to tell y'all, in the beginning, before they even started doing those Republican GOP debates, I was kind of like, ooh, DeSantis has been killing it as a governor, you know what I'm saying? I have, but my thoughts definitely have changed and shifted since then. It, it really has. Uh, DeSantis, I think, did all right during the debate, decently, but I was just like, uh, mm. A little hesitant on a few things when they asked questions about supporting Trump. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy hand immediately went up. You know, DeSantis did the kind of look around. Oh, oh yeah. So I just kind of, eh, and then y'all all know as of recent, the different things that have happened. I don't think DeSantis is one of the people that's at the top that I'm having there. Now, Vivek Ramaswamy had all the charis charisma. He uh, spoke well. He was very fiery like that because i kind of think that's how i am a little bit when it comes to certain things the only thing is that a lot of y'all been saying things about his backstory about being possibly a george soros guy and he's like a trojan horse yet at the same time vivek ramaswamy is saying things like somebody else is a trojan horse and i think he's talking about that person is nikki haley so i'm sorry y'all this whole thing that i'm supposed to be talking about right now is the buzz around who is going to be donald trump's Vice President, and I want you guys to hear it first, okay? Check this out. When Biden ran, he pledged he was going to pick a female vice president in 2020. What qualities are you looking for in your vice presidential pick? Well, always the first quality has to be somebody that you think will be a good president, because if something should happen, you have to have somebody that's going to be a great president. A lot of people are talking about that gentleman right over there. And he's been, he's been so great. He's been such a great advocate. I, I have to say, I don't, this is in a very positive way, Tim Scott. He has been much better for me than he was for himself. I watched his campaign, <laughs> and he doesn't like talking about himself, but boy, does he talk about Trump. And I said, you know, I called him. I said, Tim, you're better for me than you were for yourself. But he's fantastic, and he's a fantastic person. Uh, so no, I want somebody that can Someone be. who can step into the role. Most importantly, you have to view that. The audience has uh, been asked who they think would be a good choice, and various names came up. Um, uh, one of them was, of course, Vivek Ramaswamy. No. He's made a big splash. Ron DeSantis, who's made in, making an appearance today in South Carolina, we just found out. Um, obviously, Tim Scott, Byron Donalds, and oh. a, a big uh, presence here for Tulsi Gabbard. Um, very interesting. Um, are, and Christy Nome as well, I should say. Right. Are, are, are they all on your short yeah, list? And when can you, when can we expect that you will so announce your choice? The one thing that always surprises me is that the VP choice has absolutely no impact. It's whoever the president is. It just seems. Uh, I remember when Sarah Palin was actually picked, and she did have a big up, and then mm -hmm. uh, they just went after her at a level that nobody's seen. The Republicans themselves went after what they did. But you'll be a one-term president because you've already served, yeah. so you can only serve for one term, although they yeah. say you'll never leave office, I assume. Uh, yeah, that, you'll do. never leave. There'll never be an ele another they say, election don't again. don't do it. He'll never leave. He's yeah. never going. Oh, these people. 
They um, are. Who so for that reason, it is important so, who, you're, who you so pick. So I think it's very important. But look, first is that, as we said, it has to you know, do with whoever is, you know, it's a very important position for that reason. Uh, you would like to get somebody that could help you from the voter standpoint. And honestly, all of those people are good. They're all good. They're all solid. And I always say, I want people with common sense because there's so many things happening in this country that don't make sense. Who wants an open border? Who wants high interest rates? Who wants all electric vehicles? And they're fine, but you want to have choice. You want to go to combustion. You want to go to uh, the, any hybrid. I think the hybrid are much better from that standpoint. But you talk, we were talking about faucets. We're talking about, we're talking about so much. It's all based on common sense. We want a strong military. We want choice in education. We want to have things that can really make our country great again. What we're doing with the open border is a disaster. Yeah. We are destroying our country. We're going to change that fast, and we're going to get your energy prices down. Mr. We'll President, thank you so much for this. All right. <clears throat> What's your vote? While you're thinking about that, make sure you hit that like button right now so this video can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm and also... If this is your first time watching and you watch a few of my videos that you've liked in the past, don't forget to check to see if you are subscribed to the channel. Who y'all think? I mean, think about this. He threw some hits out there. You know, Tim Scott. You know, Tim Scott's a very good guy. Tim Scott. He talks more about Donald Trump than Trump himself. I say, Tim, why do you talk about? Why do you talk about? Why do you talk about me so much and not yourself? No, but seriously, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it makes you think. Like, uh hmm. Mm-hmm. Then other people, she was like, and people said, you know, Vivek Ramaswamy. Yeah, Vivek, like Vivek, yeah. Everybody said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, who do y'all think it's going to be? Now, I didn't hear them. You now, when he said DeSantis, it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I highly doubt it, though, because the people are thinking DeSantis is only going to play certain places to kind of, you know, I don't know. We know it's not going to be Nikki Haley. <laughs> you know, you know that for sure. But, me personally, I do not know, guys. There was stuff circulating around Tucker Carlson, which I'm going to be honest with y'all, I cannot see that happening. I mean, I would be super shocked if that happened. And it's not saying that Tucker Carlson is not, you know, a big, huge Mongo in the media world, but I'm saying I can't see that happening. Now, some of y'all said that he might bring Ben Carson back. I don't know, y'all. Like, I really do not know. There's so much stuff going around by certain people. You just kind of, uh, 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 and maybe he will pick Tim Scott so he can kind of bounce it out and have an uh, Ebony Ivory thing going on there. No, I don't know. I'm just joking. I do not know. It might be somebody that we just didn't even see, didn't even see it coming. With that being said, I want y'all to do a little bit of homework for me. In the comments section, we'll just go with three. You guys tell me who your top three people you feel would be a good VP for Donald Trump, all right? And again, before we get out of here, make sure you hit that like button. Get into those cell phones. Get into the contact list. Let somebody know about this channel and encourage them to subscribe to the most exciting channel on YouTube right now. I am Ty Smith, model Renaissance man, hoping to pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So, again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.